Now, it is noteworthy that in 1971 and then again in 1981, a hospital laboratory tested this flesh and blood from 700 AD and discovered that the flesh is myocardium, that is, the muscle tissue of the human heart. And the blood is of the blood group AB positive. Hi, thanks for tuning in to Christians on YouTube. Well, that's going to be a little bit different this time, because what I'd like to do is share something about the Eucharistic miracles shared by Father Joseph Iannuzzi. And for any non-Catholic watching here, just to put it briefly here, Eucharistic miracles are extraordinary events where the Eucharist no longer appears under the form of bread and wine, but takes on the biological qualities of human flesh or blood or both. And these miracles have no scientific explanation, but can be scientifically verified, and help us go beyond the visible and perceptible to the existence of something beyond or even supernatural. Now, Jesus and the Eucharist. The Eucharist is intimately connected with the Sacred Heart of Jesus and that therefore feast of the Sacred Heart, because it's the center and heart of our lives. To prove this point and drive it home, consider that in the year 700, 1,000 years before the Sacred Heart devotion was officially recognized, 700 AD, a monk who feared he was losing his vocation was celebrating Mass in Italy, in a city called Lanciano. He was celebrating Mass in Lanciano and during the consecration, the host turned into flesh and the wine into blood. I'm talking about not substantially, but accidentally, literally. The host began to bleed, red blood, and the wine turned into blood. Despite the fact that this miracle took place what, about 1,300 years, 1300 years ago, one may still see the flesh of this miracle in a monstrance, and the blood in a glass chalice, which are exposed daily in Italy. And I went to Italy and saw this beautiful miracle. And the blood, still preserved, has congealed and is now in five clots in the glass chalice. Now, it is noteworthy that in 1971 and then again in 1981, a hospital laboratory tested this flesh and blood from 700 AD and discovered that the flesh is myocardium. That is, the muscle tissue of the human heart. And the blood is of the blood group AB positive. So one may say that this Eucharistic host of Lanciano comes from the sacred heart of Jesus. To further emphasize this truth, consider that in 1978, NASA scientists tested the blood of the Shroud of Turin, a different miracle. And interestingly, also discover that it is of the blood group A be positive, the same exact blood type, which is rare as that of the Eucharistic miracle of Lanciano, Italy of 700 AD. So the Shroud of Turin has yielded blood AB positive, and the Lanciano Eucharistic miracle yielded blood AB positive. Now, there's a third relic, the face cloth of Christ. That's mentioned in John's Gospel, chapter 20, verse 6. This too was examined by scientists in the hospital. And it too was of, guess what, blood group? A, B, positive. That's three relics, all of the same blood group. Despite the fact that human flesh and blood should not have remained preserved from 1700 to today, these hospital lab tests found no traces of any preservatives. Now, I met with a Spanish doctor who was asked by the Vatican to examine a Eucharistic host, not the one from 700 AD, one from more recent times, another Eucharistic bleeding host. And he found that the cells within, under the microscope, within this host that was bleeding were ruptured, indicating that the human body was underwent tremendous stress and torture. In fact, Carlo Acutis was a teenager from Italy who had a great love for Jesus and a deep devotion to the Eucharist which he called My Highway to Heaven. Before his death to leukemia in 2006 at the age of 15, Carlo documented all the verified Eucharistic miracles from around the world and cataloged them onto a website that he himself called Eucharistic Miracles of the World. To always be close to Jesus, that's my life plan. And there are over 100 Eucharistic miracles recorded on Carlo's website, categorized according to country. Throughout Christian history, our Lord has shown us that he is really present as the blessed sacrament. 
Many Eucharistic miracles have occurred during times of weakened faith and have taken place as a result of someone doubting the real presence. Of course, we as Catholics believe that the consecrated host is the body, blood, soul, and divinity of our Lord under the appearances of bread and wine. Therefore, Jesus, through these miracles, merely manifests his presence in a more tangible way. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and put out your hand and place it in my side. Do not be faithless, but believing. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. Now, the physical trauma of Christ begins in Gethsemane with only one-third of the initial aspects of his suffering, the bloody sweat. And St. Luke mentions, being in agony, he prayed all the longer, and his sweat became as drops of blood trickling down upon the ground. This is a very rare phenomenon. In biology, it's called hemathydrosis, hemathydrosis, or bloody sweat. Under great emotional stress, tiny capillaries in the sweat glands can break, thus mixing blood with sweat. Now, a similar phenomenon was found in this bleeding host, and it was alive. The cells were alive, the scientists said, in the host. In the year 1263, a priest from Prague was en route to Rome making a pilgrimage, asking God for help. Along the way, he stopped along the city of Bolsena, about 70 miles north of Rome, and he too, while celebrating Mass, when raising it, experienced the same thing that that priest experienced in 700 in Lanciano. The host turned to blood. And the bread, turning into flesh, began to bleed, and drops of blood fell on a small white cloth on the altar, which we refer to as the corporal. And in the following year, 1264, Pope Urban IV instituted the feast of the body and blood of Christ, the feast of Corpus Christi. This too was tested and found to be of the blood group AB positive. So what does all this tell us? Well, it tells us that Christ is truly present body, blood, soul, and divinity at the moment of consecration, at the hands of the priest. The Eucharist is the celebration of the love of Jesus for mankind. It is his blood that is shed out of love of us through his scourged body, crowned with thorns, crucified. And the wine poured and the bread broken is the love of Jesus for us. It is the body and blood that is given to us because the Eucharist is the expression of Jesus' love. That's why at the start of every Mass, we who are so often unworthy of his love, come to Mass, more often than not, improperly disposed. Ask him for mercy at the penitential rite, and at the invitation say, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. And when we receive Jesus in the Eucharist, he literally comes and dwells within us. Well then, that will be all for the video this time. I hope this little change to the subject we're covering on this channel will be interesting to you, and as always, I certainly hope you've learned a lot from what we've put together for you here. Anyway, until the next one, stay safe, stay healthy, and may God bless you.